Hey guys, welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero lesson and today I'll be showing you how to play Bring Me The Horizon's new single, Throne. I uh, absolutely love this band and this song is really easy to play. Um, it's just all chords, uh, so I'll just be showing you an acoustic version. Now for the basics, you'll just need a guitar in standard tuning, capo on third fret, and you'll just need to know five chords. And those chords are A minor, F, C, G, and D minor. Okay, so when I notate the chords up here, basically if uh, there's one chord within brackets, that means you play it for four beats. If there's two chords within brackets, that means each chord gets played for just two beats. So that's fairly simple. Now to start off, we're just going to be learning the chords for the uh, musical break, which is in the intro and then after the choruses. Um, where Ollie says throne or sings throne. So it's just four chords. It's A minor, F, C, and G. Okay, and each chord is just played for four beats. So the strumming pattern for this um, musical break bit is fairly simple. It's just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Except you want to accent the second beat and the fourth beat. So where the snare hits basically. So um, by accent, I just mean play uh, more of the higher strings or play it harder to give it some uh, dynamic. So if I was to play that, it'd sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you notice how the second beat and the fourth beat are accented. So when you're playing the chords, it should sound something like this. One, two, three. One. So for the verse, we have two lines of chords that we need to learn. The first line is just A minor, F, F, and then F, D. Now you notice in that last set of brackets, there's an F and a D minor, which means play each of those chords for just two beats. Um, so that F, it gets played for a total of 10 beats, effectively. And that second line of chords, it's, it's the same thing, basically. You got A minor, F, F, and then D minor. So the D minor is actually played uh, for four beats, so it's a bit longer. The strumming pattern for the verse is similar to the musical break that we just learnt. It's just all down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. However, the accent you want to place on the third beat instead. So it should sound something like this. One, two, three, four. 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 And that's how um, you can give it that sort of halftime feel in the verse. So with that strumming pattern in the verse chords, it should sound something like this. The chorus chords are effectively a copy and paste of the verse chords. Now the only difference is that there's a musical break at the end of the chorus where you don't play that last D minor chord and it just cuts out. The strumming pattern is different to the verse strumming pattern. It goes back to that music uh, break strumming pattern where we have the accent on the two and the four and not the three. So the chorus should sound something like this. One, two, three, four. Now after the second chorus, they do another musical break where Ollie sings Throne and you have your A minor, F, C and G chords that we learnt at the start. Now when they go into the third chorus, you're going to just be playing those same chords all the way through. It's no longer the chorus chords, it's the musical break chords in that third chorus. They change it up. And uh, at the end of that chorus, where it leads into the bridge, uh, you're just going to be extending that G out for another extra bar. So that third chorus should sound something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
The bridge chords are really easy. There's only two lines of chords you need to learn. The first one is F, G, and then A minor. The A minor is played for two bars, so eight beats in total. Um, and that is repeated five times. And then the last line um, is F, G, and then D minor. Uh, and then after that D minor, there's a musical break, and I'll go back into uh, the chorus. Now you can kind of play around with the strumming pattern in the bridge. Uh, you can start it off soft, maybe hitting one strum every beat or uh, one strum every chord. So you could go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or you could go every beat. So one, two, three. And then as it builds up and up, you can sort of up the amount of strums and then uh, by the end you'll be doing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So one, two, three, four, one, two. So you can just play around and experiment with that. In total, the bridge will sound something like this. And that's it for Bring Me The Horizon's Throne on acoustic guitar. I'll just play the intro, verse and chorus and attempt to sing along just so you have some context. And that's it for another simple lesson at Guitar Zero to Hero. A link to those chords can be found below. Make sure you hit that like button, leave your comments, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.